it's a little too big. Mm. So this dough, um, you can refrigerate. You can eat them freeze if you need to. To be used later. Um, but for now, they're about to go in the oven. And they're going to bake in the oven. Um, my grandma would say 375. Um, for, let's see what she say. She say eight to 10 minutes on 375. We gonna listen to grandma? I think we ought to listen to grandma. Let me turn it back up. I be nervous that I'm gonna burn the edges of my cookies. Ooh, let's see. Ooh. It costs too much to be burning. So, like I said, this dough can be refrigerated. It can even be frozen um, to be used later. I'm gonna take a little of it off. And I'm only going to um, bake a few because if I bake all, we will eat all. So I'm going to put this stuff in a Ziploc bag and call it, I'm a, well, I might bake a little more than that. So you see I have them on the baking sheet about, about two inches apart so that they have space. Um, to bake. I'm going to bake them on the bottom shelf and uh, I'll be back in just a second. only calls for a uh, chocolate chip but you know I'm extra so we added a little more um, those cookies should be ready in 8 to 10 minutes um, and guess what I'm going to cook a steak tonight like a heck of a steak hey Robert I'm gonna do a cowboy steak um, with some blue cheese. And then I'm going to um, grill some corn. Um, but I just wanted to come on shortly and see how you all were doing and let you know that I'm cooking with salt. I mean, I'm trying to anyway. Um, hey, friends. That's Chef Eli. Um, I can't see. I can't see anybody else's comments, but those cookies are in the oven. I'm going to um, take out this steak and season it um, and get my cast iron skillet really, 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 really hot. Um, so y'all hold for just a second, okay? Okay.
time. They beep time. to rinse off my meat and then I'll pat it dry. I gotta wait on my skillet to come back in here. Um I, I'm really nervous about this with 75 y'all. I don't like that. That seems too high. Hold on, y'all. Be right back. Baby is my all purpose um, seasoning. You can get it at thecheftam.com. That's www.thecheftam.com. Um, so here's the thing I only eat steak with blue cheese on it, with mushrooms and onions, because I'm special. Um, and because of that, I don't buy them that often because they look at me crazy when I won't really fool with a whole lot of stuff. So on my stove, I'm turning on, um, an enamel cast iron Dutch oven. And what I'm going to do in it is saute some onions and mushrooms. Right now, I'm going to season this here steak. I should have seasoned it earlier, but it's fine. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. Seasoning one side of it. all my edges so I can come up with a nice crust. This is a Medita Mediterranean uh, herb that I'll sit it in too. Season the fat too so that when a little bit of fat does start to cook to do uh, three tablespoons of butter and um, let that melt down 
and I'll add my onion. <clears throat> Shucks. I'll add my onion, yellow onion, and then I have some baby bellas. I'm going to um, dice up this onion and um, saute the onion with the bell pepper. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so used to onion and bell pepper. Slice up the onion and cook it off with the mushrooms. Um, I absolutely love mushrooms. Like, for real, for real love mushrooms. Um, you guys can see I got a good cowboy steak. Um, I'm going to do um. So check this out. People laugh at me when I tell them that I never, ever, ever wanted to cook. Um, like never wanted to cook. And it's because when I was a kid, cooking to me meant having to clean the kitchen for hours following my daddy cooking. And so I just wasn't for it. Um, most people tell you to just wipe off mushrooms. I'm going to rinse off my mushrooms. Um, just to break up any debris that could be down in the pack. And I'm going to let my mushrooms get in my butter first. Y'all, how long has cookies been in the oven? It ain't been eight minutes yet. They look good though. I'm a little nervous, but they look good. And so while my cookies, I mean, I'm sorry, while my mushrooms are uh, getting some butter love, I'm gonna let them go for about five minutes before I add my onions to them. So check these out. I got these. These are from Africa. Um, in Kenya, I don't use them, but they're pretty dope. I I keep I get stuff like that and I keep it, and they look at me like I'm crazy because I'm never gonna use it. I have that one, and then I have another one too. Never will use them because they're so dope. Handcrafted dopeness. Y'all, these cookies are smelling right, honey. Sunshine on Instagram said, can you fit it me a cookie, please? Listen, hold on, Sunshine. Your cookies, go look on my towel rack and give me the um kitchen towels, the rainbow color ones. Because them cookies smell about right, y'all. So those onions, um, I'm sorry, those mushrooms are going to cook like that, like I said, for about five minutes. And then I'm going to put another um, tablespoon of butter in and add my onions. Preferably, I can get my skillet real quickly. He got to add some oil to it. Um, next Thursday, you and me, black eyed pea fritters and more. Baby, listen, Chef Eli. No, I got to call you by your hope. Elijah, the prophet. Let me put it right on the eye. Mm -mm. Put it right on the eye. 
Uh, I need that boy was going in with some towels. I didn't have that yet. I could just need to come out. Oh, never mind. Tell him I said never mind, because he's looking for it. I know you have Here go our cookies, y'all. Here go our cookies. They get hot in my hands. I'm going to put them down. But they smell like My bling addicts said, what kind are they? I just got here on Instagram. So those are, that's the the base of that cookie is my grandmother's chocolate chip cookie recipe. Again, I'll say, um, my grandmother was a professional baker. And um, what I did, or what I firmly believe, is that anytime you've been given a, an amazing foundation that you must build on it. And so what I did today was, instead of um, just going with, um, her recipe, which is just a chocolate chip cookie recipe, an amazing one, I might add. Um, I added um, butterscotch morsels, Bailey's morsels, coconut, and oatmeal. Listen, honey. Now, these onions and mushrooms are about to get married. I just put them in the house together right now, but they're going to get married. Why this cast iron skillet is getting hot. I should put it in the oven. Let me, you know what? Let me do this. Let me do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wash my hands. And then I'm gonna take these cookies off of the sheet. So I can go ahead and put some more in the oven. Because I see right now, them not going to be no enough. Have you ever came across something in your kitchen and knew there wasn't no enough? Yeah. Them ain't no enough. I think I want another plate outside of this one. So, I'm going to bring the cookies around now and let y'all see them. starting to really smoke over here which is what I want I'm gonna season these onions and mushrooms with a little of the fry meal bag now where can you get this at www.thecheftam.com okay www.thecheftam.com like and share this video. Like and share this video. Right I'm going to turn my vent on for just a second to pull some of that smoke. Hey, Cannibal. How you doing? Hey, Auntie Mel. Let these, the onion and the bell pepper, they done became friends. But I'm gonna put this Flintstone steak, look at this junk. I'm gonna put this Flintstone steak in this skillet. That's how I meant you said junk. You just switched up. Yeah, I done been in Memphis too long. I said junk. <laughs> With the E. Too long. So, the steak is in the oven. And I'm gonna let it cook um, on each side about three or four minutes to give me some nice little color. And then once it's done cooking three or four minutes on each side, I'm gonna put it in the oven for about 
12 to 13 minutes because I do not eat a well done steak. Help them get light. I'm about to put some more cookies back in the oven. I ain't so scared no more. That, three, that 375 threw me for a minute because I was nervous that her little cookie might burn with all this extra stuff I was putting in it. But I suppose the oatmeal helped my edges. Hey! <laughs> Keep my edges from falling. Yeah, I don't even have to use. Look at that. Look at that color. I don't even have to use uh, a tongue on that steak because the bone in it is so big. Hey, Chef Jimmy. because it's generally about $30 is when I catch it on sale. Like, when they discounted it to be sold that day, I'll buy it. Um, I'm not a really big beef eater. And so because I'm not, whoo, look at that color. Because I'm not a really big beef eater, um, I'm gonna get my edges. Color. Because I'm not, I, I won't waste my money um, purchasing. I want y'all to be able to come see. Anybody else? No, not at all. It might be your whole bag. So, that steak has some amazing color, right? Let me see if I can. I ain't gonna try to pick it up because that skillet is heavy as heck. But it has some amazing color to it. And what I'm gonna do. Is let it rest. I turn the aisle. I'm gonna let it rest in that skillet. Love a good comment on Instagram. Chef Tam. It's Miss Wright, Dorian's second grade teacher. I need all that ship to Guatemala immediately. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm adding my mushrooms and my onion to the skillet with the steak. Now remember the skillet is turned off, but cast iron is like the best investment you can ever make in your kitchen. It's going to continue to cook even though it's turned off, plus the eye is still hot. Now it'll rest for about three or four minutes here and cool down. It's going to seem really crazy. I'm going to let it rest and cool down. 
and then I'm gonna top it with blue cheese and I'm gonna put it in the oven and let it finish cooking in the oven. I was gonna wait, but I ain't wait. I'm gonna top the steak with blue cheese. And then I'm gonna stick it, go get some of this. I'm gonna put it in the bottom of my steak. I'm gonna go have a really bad little Hold the line. Let it cook for 15 minutes. I did that wrong. Uh. Anyway, so I have put a steak in the oven. I have baked two dozen cookies. And I think I'm gonna make a little salad. What y'all think? My is white. Here you go. You can have it back. You can have it back. He gonna eat the steak. Why he tripping? I'm, I'm chicken. You want some chicken? I'll make some chicken too. Yep, I'll make some chicken and put it on the grill. I'll start the fire. Can you not use more hands to wipe while you're doing it though? Yeah, I won't. I, the chicken on the grill don't require that. So, this is my favorite lettuce. It's butter leaf lettuce. It is so soft. It melts in your mouth. It is amazing. Hear me say? Amazing. Of course, see if that one right. Amazing. Best lettuce ever. So, what I'm going to do is, um, I rinsed it off and I'm going to let it rest on a napkin to drain. And um, I think for this salad, all I really want is some lettuce and some bacon and some cucumbers and some, um, uh, uh, sunflower seeds and some croutons. I think that's all I want. I think that's it. This steak is going to cook and be perfect when it's done. And yeah, dinner's going to be right over around here. Hey, Pastor Jones. Hey, Brandon. Hey, Rosalind. 
Hey, Miss Ellis. No, you don't need no lessons. All that cooking you been doing. No, sir. So, um, I'm going to, um, cut up some cucumber because I really love cucumber. And the only thing that I absolutely hate is that I don't have any bacon. I already cooked. <clears throat> oh, but I promise you I can make some real quick. So I can add some bacon to my salad. So I am in love with this um, private selection from Kroger. Like, I really have fallen in love with that brand of everything. They got some cashews, honey. Let me tell you. Those cashews are amazing. Like, for real, for real. So, this is center cut double smoked bacon. I'm only going to cook probably about four pieces. Um, cause it's just, I really don't need four, but in case my child act like he want to eat a salad today, which I doubt. Um, there's my bacon for my salad. I'm going to do cucumbers, butter, lettuce, croutons, and, um, sunflower seeds. And that's it. Um, I'm not a big tomato fan. I've made myself eat them. But I'm not a big tomato fan. Um, but I eat them if I have to. So you just heard Nick say he wants some chicken. And it's a whole steak in the oven. Okay. I'm going to cut the edges off of my cucumber. At least some of them. The skin, I mean. So check this, uh, about almost two years ago, I had a surgery and that surgery was because um, my esophagus um, wouldn't close. So everything I ate or drank came right back up. And um, what would set it off is the fibrous skin of fruit and vegetables. like. I ain't never heard of nothing like that in my life. But it was set it off real bad. Um, where all night long, it, the asses in my stomach would just be coming back up. So, I feel like I still need the fiber. So, I break all the rules. Like, they told me not to eat the skin of anything. Um, but I just can't see myself not... Um, Oh, that steak smells so amazing. I can't see myself not eating any um, skin or any vegetable. I feel like my daddy might come back at the grave. salad that don't require much because it don't look like nobody gonna eat it but me um i cut off the very tip of the root and i literally could eat this whole head of lettuce by myself it's that good just two chops nothing major or super fancy big leaves to this and then I'm going to add my cucumber and my bacon when it gets ready. And that's it. I'm going to make Nick eat some salad. Even though he say all he wants is some chicken. I'm going to make him eat some salad. My bacon is cooked. 
cooking, as you can hear. The second set of cookies is almost done. Second set of cookies almost done. Salad about finished. I'm just waiting on my bacon to crisp up. And then I'll add my croutons and my sunflower seeds to it. Um, Y'all. You got some sun-dried tomatoes? I don't believe I have any sun-dried tomatoes. I have no sun-dried tomatoes. I can't eat no salad without some dried tomatoes. You won't eat this salad. I might have some uh, pickled okra and pickled carrots and no, no sun dried tomatoes. But you, I got you some blue cheese dressing in here. Okay. You'll be all right. You got pickled carrots though? Yeah. I'm on, so I don't know how to pickle carrots. <clears throat> Look at the top in the very back. Behind the edge. Yeah, it's some pickle carrots in here. It's some pickle okra in there. Um, I'm just waiting on this little bacon to do, do its thing. And then, honey, I'm going to chop it up and put it in this salad. And when I tell you it's going to be life, liberty, and the pursuit of love, trust me when I say. I believe I'm about to take out this other batch of cookies. So, I have a steak in the oven, I have cookies baked, I have a salad made, and now he says he wants chicken. So, I'm going to have to clean up and season some chicken. DTM? I think so, too. DTM? I think so, too. sliced up all them cucumbers because I'm going to eat the rest of them. Then, because he likes blue cheese, I'm going to put a little piece of blue cheese on this salad. And I know he's going to put it in. Put a little blue cheese on it. I thought I would never find somebody that liked blue cheese as much as me, but apparently I have because he loves blue cheese as well. Like me three. <laughs> yeah. You like blue cheese? All day. What? It's all right. But here's what's retarded. I'll eat this salad with ranch dressing with all the blue cheese on it. Mm. So the steak is on broil in the oven. And um, while it's in the oven, let me remind you <clears throat> to like and share this video. And then go to www.thecheftam.com and get you Black as Midnight. That's our blackening seasoning. Fry Me Up Baby, our purpose seasoning. And Reel Me In is our seafood seasoning. We also have our soul food duos, which is waffle batter. And then inside is a little pouch of seasoning for chicken and waffles. We have another one that is shrimp and grits. It is the grits. And then it has the seasoning for... Um, the shrimp and grits. So make sure you guys go to 
www.dcheftam.com and get your spices of life. www.dcheftam.com and order your seasonings, okay? Okay, pumpkin. Y'all, this bacon coming right along. This bacon is coming right along. How many of y'all got one of these on y'all stove? How many of y'all got one of these? This is what you got for your bacon drippings in. For light them. For something else. I gotta make it wait. We got two minutes. And that, that steak is gonna be ready to come out there oven. Okay? Two minutes, one minute, 43 seconds, one minute, 43 seconds. Can't wait, can't wait. It's going to be great. Great, 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 great. So, my bacon is cooking. This bacon is for my salad. We don't do no fake bacon bits around here. We do real bacon. If we go, I mean, listen. I've had to break my husband of the habit of when I said go to the store and get butter, he would come home with blue bonnet. And I was like, first of all, that ain't butter. Second of all, that ain't butter. Third of all, that ain't butter. So I feel like if we gonna eat, we might as well eat. And uh, so if something calls for butter, we gonna use butter. If something calls for bacon, we gonna cook that bacon. We just ain't gonna eat bacon every day. We just not gonna cook with butter every day. But when we need it, we gonna use it. Amen. Amen. Can I get an amen? Can I get a heart? Can I get a thumbs up? Can I get a something? <clears throat> Amen, church. Look at this. Y'all, we got 16 seconds. I can't wait for y'all to see this steak. Matter of fact, matter of fact, I'm going to move this out of the way. And I'm going to put it right here in your face. Look at this. Cancel. Watch this. So that's dinner. That's dinner. Let me make sure y'all can see. That's dinner. That's dinner. That's dinner. Bacon almost ready. Steak looks amazing. I mean, yes, God. Steak looks wonderful. So, this is my cowboy steak. Um, these are my grilled onions and mushrooms, or sauteed onions and mushrooms. It's topped with blue cheese. It is going to go with this salad. The salad is going to be finished with bacon. And um, croutons and sunflower seeds. This steak is pretty freaking amazing, if I do say so myself. I probably shouldn't say so myself, but it looks amazing. Bacon. 
is hot, which I like to put it on my salad hot because guess what? It'll make my lettuce wilt a little more. Ooh, y'all. It's something about this lettuce, baby. When I tell you, nothing compares. Just looking at it like for real for real so I'm gonna put a few more slices of cucumber on it you gonna get a picture And then I'm gonna see if I really got to do this chicken. I think I'm gonna have to really do this chicken. Let me show y'all this steak again. So there's our steak. With portobello mushrooms and onion. And then there's our salad with blue cheese, cucumbers, and bacon. That's dinner, baby. Oh, hold up. Then I done messed around and made these million dollar cookies. These million dollar cookies. So we got a cowboy steak with uh, portobello mushrooms and onions topped with blue cheese. We have a salad with cucumbers, fresh bacon, and blue cheese. Um, we have our million dollar cookies. And then, the only thing that I did not do that I would have normally done is made some fresh croutons. But today, um, this is kind of last minute. So, because it was last minute, I didn't um, go out, go the route I normally would. So, this is my salad. My salad. And my friends... My friends, dinner is what served. I'm going to show y'all one more time. Then I'm going to log out. And I'm going to feed my fat face. And then I guess I'm going to cook this man some chicken. Because he said he wants some chicken. Mm. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I'm going to show y'all in just one second. Hold on. Just hold your horses. Hold your horses. Hold your horses. I'm finna show y'all. I'm finna show y'all. Look at this. Look at that. So that's the steak. That's the salad. Here are the cookies. Salad, steak, cookies. Salad, steak, cookies. And then, of course, there are our spices and our food products that you can easily go on to Chef Tam, thechefTam.com and get. Look at this. Y'all, look at this steak. Look at it. I'm going to start over here. To that salad. Look at that salad. Hey, Donald. That, my friends, is dinner. If you have not been, go over to thecheftam.com and get yourself our spices. We have a blackening seasoning, a seasoning for fish um, called Reel Me In, and then we have Fry Me Up Baby, which is our all purpose seasoning. We also have Soul Food Duos which have waffle batter and uh, the seasoning for your chicken. So you can make chicken and waffles. 
this my friends is what i call dinner thank you guys for tuning in i love you guys have a great night bye bye thank you guys for tuning in i love you guys have a great night bye bye